Perhaps the single most confusing and popular comparison is KitchenAid versus Bosch dishwashers. You read the blogs, watch the videos from both brands, and still it's hard to know which is the right dishwasher for you. Why? Well, it's because both are excellent dishwashers and have recently updated their features. You'll be happy with either. They are a bit different in how they wash and dry your dishes, as well as the design of the dishwasher racks. Their silence ratings are somewhat surprising and different from what you may have thought. In this video, you'll learn the differences in racking, washing, drying, as well as reliability and a few problems based on 40,000 plus service calls logged by our service department just last year. In the end, you'll know which dishwasher is right for you. Then again, availability and lack of products may change your mind. We'll start with availability because many of these dishwashers have not been consistently available due to various supply chain issues. Availability is a huge problem now for several reasons and will affect how you buy almost every product, not just dishwashers. And in a comparison this close, you know the best features for how you use a dishwasher, but you'll have to consider availability. The early KitchenAid dishwasher changed the industry because of its solid commercial design. KitchenAid's weakness was noise, especially when Bosch and ASCO started importing quiet dishwashers into the US. What cleaned well, it was noisy. They finally addressed that issue, changing the dishwasher to more European design by removing the disposer and adding a filter. They now have two different series, the TE and TM. Less expensive TE series dishwashers will have quieter models at 39 decibels. TM will have better washing, racking, and a drying system, but will be noisier at 44 decibels because of their two filter design. Top models are the 200 series and the 600 series. Yes, only two models. KitchenAid's availability is a problem, but their higher end 700 and 800 series don't justify the price increase. You can buy KitchenAid's with the towel bar as a KDT or pocket handles a KDP. Bosch's weakness is always drying. Most European stainless steel dishwashers use condensation or the heat from the wash and jet dry to dry your dishes. It's decent for plates and silverware, but it doesn't work as well for less dense items like your Tupperware. Last year, Bosch improved their drying on some models featuring auto air feature that pops open the dishwasher after the cycle is complete. This will release moisture and speed up the drying process. Bosch's better models will have crystal dry using volcanic elements to increase heat and absorb moisture. It's the best drying available in any dishwasher. You can buy the Bosch dishwasher with five different fronts. Both are good brands to consider. The average service rate on a dishwasher in the first year was 12.8% based on our database of sales versus service. Last year, we logged over 40,000 service calls, over 10,000 were just dishwashers. KitchenAid is now more reliable than Bosch by almost 4.5%, sort of. However, Thermo is another Bosch-made dishwasher. It's free with other Thermo to qualified purchases. Thermo tends to be less featured, like the less expensive KitchenAid is 3.6% service. So when you combine Thermo and Bosch, the reality is about the same to KitchenAid. Reliability is even more important these days because of the lack of service technicians nationwide. Most upscale dishwashers now have stainless on the inside. It's more hygienic than plastic because there are no seams for germs and odors to populate. There are plenty of cycles for both. Many perform the same function. They do have third racks. However, this year's KitchenAid dishwasher series is upgraded and different on certain models. Both are at or below 44 decibels. That number isn't an accident, by the way. It is an unofficial standard for noiseless rating, meaning you won't hear a 44 decibel dishwasher in the next room while watching TV. People do tend to be oversold on extra quietness. You should make that same mistake, unless the more expensive dishwasher has some other desired features. KitchenAid is the better spray on the top versus more of a sprinkler head on the Bosch. That said, they both will wash your dishes. Both will have the third rack for silverware. It's useful because the third rack will have more room on the bottom rack. I just moved into an apartment without one. That basket does take a lot of room, better suited for my plates. Like most stainless steel interior dishwashers, KitchenAid uses condensation dry. It's a fancy term for drying, jet dry, and time. Bosch's auto air on their more expensive SHP 865s will pop open the door at the end of the cycle to release steam. The KDT 204 KPS is KitchenAid's least expensive available dishwasher. 
And also they're quiet as 39 decibel. It's noiseless, you won't even hear a hum. Washing system is also slightly better. However, cycles are about the same. Comparisons about price, mostly with KitchenAid being quieter, Bosch having a better drying cycle. Next comparison is far more interesting. You have the best new features in both. KitchenAid's third rack is the best, accommodating more than any other brand. Also has separate sprays in the rods of the rack. Bosch has the MyWay rack, allowing you to hold more cups and small dishes. Bosch has the same sprinkler on the top and then the two under the main racks. In addition to the spray on the rods, KitchenAid has spray on the top, middle, and bottom. They claim four levels, but it's really three, plus the holes in the rack and the fourth. KitchenAid has also changed the filtering system to two filters, so the water will be cleaner as well. The second filter increases the noise from a noiseless 39 decibel of the 200 to a still quiet 44 decibels. Both companies have made improvements. KitchenAid lets air from the outside cool the dishwasher's interior. The steam and moisture are attracted to the drier, cooler air and dissipated as water. KitchenAid also has a heating home to absorb moisture. Bosch, however, completely changed how dishwashers dry. In this dishwasher, they pack a volcanic element zeolite to absorb moisture and emit heat for the driest dishes available. Zeolite even works well on plastic. Bosch is clearly better because it fits within a 24-inch cabinet. You would think this would be a standard feature on dishwashers. However, KitchenAid and other American dishwashers like G will protrude outside the cabinet. It's the difference between a dishwasher looking like a cabinet and a dishwasher looking like a dishwasher with a panel on it. This comparison is no contest. Bosch is better for this style. Bosch markets several panel-ready models. Look for the V in the model number. KitchenAid may have changed their whole line but missed this opportunity. Both are excellent choices. You should consider both because they both have decent features along with good reliability. Bosch may be a little bit better in our first comparison. While KitchenAid has a better wash system and Bosch has a better drying system in the second. When I wrote this last year, I said, wait until the ever predictable sales dates so of President's Day, Memorial Day, tax-free weekend, Labor Day or Black Friday. This year you should really consider the opposite. And for the time being, buy the best model for you based on what is currently available and consider surface or at least the best service in your area. To learn more about the best dishwashers you can buy today, click the link at the end of the video to download our free dishwasher buying guide. Thanks for watching.